Hello. Good morning to all of you. If you are right now in western part of the world and if you are in the eastern part of the world, then good evening to you. It is my great pleasure to talk to you today the journey to get your title doctor. <clears throat> my name is Amir Bhavik. Of course, I do have a little title, Professor Dr. Amir Bhavik. I'm the president of Lincoln University College of Malaysia. And my colleagues often call me Amiya. You can also call me Amiya. Let's keep aside my title. Now, most important that why you need doctor title. The title doctor, people use mainly can be divided into two, the academic and non-academic. The people who would like to go for academic because they want to be the lecturers or in teaching professions. Non-academic, those who would like to have doctor title, I would not advise them to go for PhD. The reason for not to go for PhD because in the academic field of doctor title, you need to have more critical thinking. Whereas non-academic, those who go for doctor title, you are on the spot, more like problem solution oriented. You are more like consultant. So this is the major two important uses of doctor title. <clears throat> now let's look at in a broad usage of Dr. Tucker. We go by social prestige. This is a very important title. Who doesn't like that you should be called Dr. Name? It gives you social prestige. People think that you have done something, you have achieved in your life. Most cases, before they go for social prestige, if they are academic, they are looking into in terms of academic achievement. But all said and done, everybody go for doctor title, more on to social testings. But I would like to share with you today entrepreneurial PhD. People like to have title doctor. For me, I use doctor title because it gives me entrepreneurial thinking process. Why? It gives us a self-confidence. It gives us 
that you have achieved the most highest qualification in the formal educational process. Now, when I talk about entrepreneurialism, I don't want you to go simply because you want to have Dr. Title. But I want you to, to have Dr. Title. You can conquer the world, that kind of spirit. When I say conquer the world, meaning no, 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 not like Hitler, you are going to conquer the world. But you are going to conquer in terms of positive thinking. So one of the most important uses of getting PhD that you, you get a positive energy in your mind. This positive energy is nothing but entrepreneurial. Now, people will be talking about entrepreneur, maybe making money. And no. How you can create the self-confidence, especially during this COVID-19 world pandemic time. You need to have that positive immunity and this PhD title will give you this PhD immunization. We recently awarded one student who was really mentally suffering in COVID and the last four years finally he has completed his PhD and he got doctor title. All of a sudden he called me, he called me, hey, sir, I am in a very, very good mood. I am in seventh heaven. I said, what happened to you? He said, sir, I received my doctor title. That's what is called entrepreneurial PhD. This is the uses of Dr. Title. So you just don't get Dr. Title because you want to have the name. But no, when you get the title, automatically your self-confidence, your positive thinking, your vibration of the human body as a doctor title, it gives a different feeling nearest to you. You give a leadership focus to your subordinates, to your company, people, or to your children. And that's called entrepreneurial PhD for your doctor title. Next time I talk about social entrepreneur. Wow. Entrepreneurial PhD, social entrepreneur. And that's again, this title gives you, you are a kind of leader. You are a kind of boss. The society looks at you that, oh, okay. I will follow you. How did you get your doctor title? So society looks at you. You have achieved something in your human life. I come back again. That why do you need this doctor title again? That's because you want to keep a legacy in this world before you go. We all have to die, my friends. So when before dying, people will remember that you had a title of doctor. And that's the social entrepreneur. Next, 
you can market yourself by a PhD. Ah, that's a real business. So when I say market yourself, <clears throat> the biggest challenge in this world today that we do not know how to market. You can talk, you can be a fantastic academician or you can be fantastic non-academician. But if people do not know who you are, no point of becoming fantastic. Now, marketing, how do you market? This is where I'll be sharing with you later the PhD process where you will have to publish four articles. Four articles. Now, when you publish good articles, automatically what happens is that the articles are read by various kind of people. Now, <clears throat> and then if your article is a good research database, or you may talk about COVID-19, how people coping it, how people managing their economics, or COVID-19, some kind of discovery, and your name is there. So if article is helpful throughout the world, they are reading your article. Immediately, they will write to you by email. And that's how you become popular. And that is a very good impact in your life. Very easy. See, to market anything, people spend millions of dollars. But when you write good article, article publication, depending upon which journal, Maybe thousand dollars, maybe two thousand US dollars. So by publication, when that journal is circulated, uh, millions of people are reading your article, my friend. So when they read your article, and your article has got a good content, and that article is helpful for the society. The article is helpful for the business, the article helpful for your children. And that's why you are going to be a very, very important person. And this article, whenever you are not around, your name will be lasting forever. And that's the market. So now you understand how important for you to get PhD. Let me share with you PhD process flowchart. At Lincoln University, we have a very structured PhD process. The minimum duration is three years. And every year is divided into two semesters. One semester equals to six months. And every six months, you have to go through a review process. So very structured. First semester, six months, you will find that you can see on the screen very structured 
phase one fast six months is more on to appointment of supervisor and issue of course completion later. What do you mean course completion? There are two courses, very, very important. First six months we must go through. One is research methodology and another one is computer applications in research. So now what happens is, the research methodology during the class time you should be able to generate many kind of research idea understand the data collection process understand various steps of conducting your phd research so once you finish phase one then you go on to phase two phase two more on to research title proposal, problem statement, and so forth. So it's it, before actually you start phase two and finishing phase one, you're, you have almost completed your research proposal. Then you go to year two. Year two, before you start phase three, you have already completed and you see phase three, phase four. Again, there are some research development form and in that research development form, you must write your progress report. And this is very important. So every six months, you are tracked down what you have done. Now here is the difference says, in our Lincoln PhD program that you just register and then go sleep and maybe oh, okay I have three years time and then just six months before you start writing one year before you start writing no we have a structure every six months you must write your development process and we have given very clearly that each phase what you should be doing and what you should progress and then you need to fill up the forms and the moment you fill up the form then you need to upload in our system as well so once you upload in our system the supervisor and the postgraduate department will guide you. Phase four, phase five. Now, phase five is more onto high bubble examination that your final thesis is done. And if you pass, there could be some kind of even rectification of your thesis so you also need to complete this so finally if everything goes well you get doctor title now here is the chances now before you allow allow you to question and cessation few more things I would like to share with you. There are four articles you need to publish. Two articles, it is a Scopus Index Journals and another two articles in non-Scopus Index Journal and you need to also present two papers in an international conferences. So these are mandatory requirements for you. The PhD, you should be taking it not because of 
some kind of force, not because of you want to have title, but it is within your heart, you want to have the title because you want to show the leadership. And this leadership is very, very important. Now, why we have done this kind of structure of flowchart? Because at Lincoln University College, Malaysia, we call it GOT, graduate on time. This is very important. If we say minimum duration is three years course, and if you have taken enrollment today, the 17th April 2021, I would like to see that you have received PhD title on the 16th of April 2024. If you get your PhD on the 17th of April 2024, that means I failed to do my job of GOT, graduate on time. So and that is why we have a, this kind of structured format. So that our supervisor, our faculty members, our co-supervisor, they are continuously working with you my friends. So the duty is very important because as you are aware that we Lincoln University College has been ranked under QS World Ranking Asia region. We are also ranked under Times Higher Education Impact of Education 2020. So therefore, these rankings have certain criteria and one of the criteria is GOT, graduate on time. At the same time, in Malaysia, the Ministry of Higher Education also audit us in ranking and in that we are under five star, what you call Setara 5. Now, this Setara 5 is considered excellent in education delivery. So, therefore, all these rankings basically require many characteristics, and one of the characteristics is GOT, graduate on time. So, therefore, and this is why we have this kind of structure, PhD process of flowchart, so that you are guided, you are not lost. Now, PhD is very helpful. Not many people want to go through. But those who have gone through, after completion, they will say, wow, that's easy. But before you start, you may think, how and can I finish it? The best way to handle is start working. The moment you start working, you will see that you have finished and achieved and reached to your target. So start today, PSD, my friend. Don't wait. And after three years, write doctor title in front of your name. So journey towards doctor title, it's very easy. The moment you apply in your hand, nothing but intrapreneurial process in your heart. So be an entrepreneur to achieve doctor title in front of your name. This is a big thing. Don't wait. So the PhD 
again and again, if you are not academic, I would suggest go for DBA, Doctor of Business Administration. That's much more suitable for the people who doesn't want to be a lecturer, doesn't want to be academician, yet want to have a doctor title. So therefore, I want you to go through DBA if you are not going to be academician. So with this, I would like to say that let's have question and answer session and see how we can get our doctor title. Please feel free. Write on the chat and we shall definitely answer the question. Yes. There are student visa procedure. If you have to come to uh, Malaysia, you must have a master degree. And plus, you must have IELTS. And our government allows you first year you can come without ILTS, but second year, when you want to renew your visa, you must have your ILTS as well. How much would I need per month living expenses? Well, what we have seen, including accommodation and food, maximum. 400 US dollars because food is quite cheap, I must tell you, in my country. If you cook your own meal, I think it is less than 50 US dollar. If you eat outside in a month, you may spend maximum 100 US dollars. So that's what living expenses you will need. Do you accept two semester application? PhD applications are open on a daily basis. On a daily basis and daily basis enrollment. But every month we start our classes of research methodology and computer applications. So very much flexible in terms of this. Now, <clears throat> you need to come if you want your application to be authenticated by our Ministry of Higher Education and authenticated by your country's embassy or high commission in Malaysia. Question, do you accept two semester applications in February? Well, I said you can literally apply every day and you can have admission on every day. Okay, so 
if you don't have any more questions we look forward to seeing you here in malaysia and the contact address and telephone number on your screen and come to malaysia enjoy the true asian experiences and asian lifestyle and you will remember for ever who ever has come to malaysia they fall in love they always like to stay in malaysia so our special invitation to all of you may allah